One of the busiest highways in North Texas turned into a raging river in a concrete canyon early Monday morning. Just got off of work and barely made it this far. Have you ever seen anything like this? Never. Drivers were forced to jump out and swim to safety on Interstate 30 as record rainfall hammered Dallas. Some cars started floating away. We were coming back home. Her car broke down over there and we had to swim across to get into the building today. Yeah, I was probably, I'm 5'2", so it was like up to here. Cynthia Moreno says her night on the town while visiting from New Orleans turned into a nightmare. The watermark on Suzanne Huff's headrest inside her minivan shows just how high the waters rose in Deep Ellum. The electrical's all gone. We can't, the windows, the windows were up when we went to bed last night. They're down. We can't get it unlocked. Um, everything. We're carrying stuff in to try to start drying stuff out. Nine to 15 inches of rain fell on the region in less than 24 hours. School buses had to turn around at flooded intersections in Dallas. Swiftwater rescue crews helped hundreds of people in trouble, including this man and two dogs trapped by a swollen creek. Homes and farms were surrounded by water in Segoville. The power of the water ripped down fences and flooded homes in nearby Balch Springs. This is the same community that saw two dozen homes catch fire just a month ago as North Texas struggled with a summer of extreme heat and drought. Now, families are cleaning up a muddy mess from too much rain. For AccuWeather, I'm Bill Waddell. Hey AccuWeather fans, if you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more from AccuWeather.